Hey there. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Mm. I am just coming out of my uh, chemo fog. This has been a rough one. <laughs> Did I ever underestimate the one-two punch of doing radiation and chemo at the same time? <laughs> oh, so cocky was I. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's been rough for sure. But I'm done. Have I shared that with you? Have we talked about this? That I'm, I finished radiation? I can't remember. I, I can't remember this morning, so forgive me. Um, well, I'm just gonna be redundant if I did. Uh, we get to celebrate again. I'm done with radiation. I finished it last week. Yay! I won't know the results until in January. Uh, I feel pretty confident that, that we got this, that, yeah. My uh, radiologist, if you remember, is a cocky little fucker. And he said he's really good at his job and he chose to go after the uh, easiest ones first to give me a win before the holidays. Well, that's so nice, like to be that thoughtful. You don't always get that and we, I mean, you, you can't necessarily make those decisions. Uh, and they're so clinical all the time. It was just really nice for him to say like, hey, I'm just gonna, I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna grab the ones that are growing so that you can stop worrying about them. I'm gonna grab the largest ones and I'm gonna grab the easiest ones so that I know that I do this and successfully and give you a win. And then we'll come back and we'll plan for the future. So even though it has, uh, <laughs> it, is, it is just, ooh, wrecked me physically uh, and emotionally. This is a rough week. I'm so super excited because I'm, I'm done, right? And the last session uh, that I had it was just, it was really beautiful. The, the, my technicians were celebrating with me um, that I got the doctor to come out and uh, just for a minute, because he was super busy, but I just, I just wanted to thank him. You know, he came out to the lobby and I'm like, I just, I just want to thank you. Thank you for saying yes. Thank you for being willing to do this. And, and you know, he tried to poop. He's like, oh, no, no, no. I was like, no, no, please hear me. I believe that it is so important for our mental game have a next step and I didn't have one until you said yes and everyone else said no so thank you and then he got he got a little emotional too and then the whole lobby was uh, was cheering and clapping it was really cool yeah I uh <laughs> this week has been been rough, but I'm like I said, I'm, I'm coming out of it. I was able to, uh, I've been in bed all week. I, I've, I really didn't have the, uh, the energy to, to get out of bed. Um, and, uh, rot vomiting and <laughs> shitting myself. Uh, I don't know why uh, you, <laughs> I know, chemo makes me sick. <laughs> Apparently now radiation makes me sick, right? And I know that, and I've just put my ego aside, that if I'm gonna go for a walk, put a diaper on. Big freaking deal, right? Yeah, I've had to wear the diaper inside my house. <laughs> it's been, it's been rough. Hmm. I'm really hoping um, I was able to uh, uh, yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. Whatever. I think it was yesterday. Uh, it was my wife's first day of vacation. And so I was able to, to pull myself together. And uh, we 
jumped in the car and, and oh, drove um, drove around passing out uh, uh, cookies, the last of the, uh, the cookies that I've been baking, which was my uh, project to keep myself busy. Um, and it finished just in time because I, I don't have the energy for it. It, it was, um, it's been hard emotionally and mentally to to have the loss of my body again. Um, you know, I worked really hard this year, and I and I do every day to try to to try to to keep my strength up and to keep my weight up and keep hydration up and keep you know blah 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 blah. blah. Um, I couldn't get out of bed, and. Uh, I drove around for an hour, passing out cookies, and I it, it was, it was, it was wrecked. I was wrecked for the whole day. Actually, after we came back, <laughs> again, cocky, we came back, and, and I just, I refuse, um, I refuse to acknowledge when I can't do something. I am pretty stubborn about, uh, which I think has been very helpful for uh, for living with cancer. Uh, anyways, I we came back from passing out cookies and, and uh, I had to run to grab something and it was like eight blocks away and I just knew that there was, I couldn't walk that far. I just, I just couldn't, which made me sad to eat blocks. I thought, okay, that's okay. I'm gonna, I'll jump on my scooter, I'll take my scooter because it's 60 degrees in Chicago in December. <laughs> but uh, my scooter for some reason died uh, two and a half, three blocks from here. And I had to push it back. And I, it's not, it's not like it's that heavy. I don't know. I, was, I uh, was, couldn't breathe. And it, was, and it was really hard and it was, um, it was hard. It's hard when you... I said the work that I was doing this year, I, I, I knew that uh, that treatment or cancer was gonna take take it away again, and that was gonna be rough, and, and, uh, and then I was gonna be prepared for it, uh, but nothing prepares you for it, I guess. It's okay. It's the holidays. My wife's on vacation. I'm ridiculously excited to try. I don't. I don't know necessarily how I'm gonna do this, but we've got two weeks where we're gonna play games and build Lego and cook and hang out and. and not talk. I just told her this morning, let's, let's like, I don't, we're not going to talk about cancer unless one of us needs to, of course. Um, but, but let's find our bubble. Let's find our bubble and, and put ourselves inside of it. And cause it's, it's, you know, it's really hard for her to see me sick. Uh, and, and, and so I'm, I want to try to, to give her the gift of, of, uh, not, <laughs> Um, and the holiday season uh, with COVID, you know, we have to we have to be super super strict about uh, COVID. So we are pretty much uh, because of of the explosion that's happening uh, once again in cities uh, because we're all so close to each other. <laughs> We're uh, we're in isolation. We're we're hiding. So it's just, which is really not not any different than it's not any different than how we live our life. Uh, but I do think that both of us thought we could get together with friends over the holidays, and so we were looking forward to that. And that's not going to happen. But that's okay. It's okay. I have uh, my brain is coming back a little bit. I buy books for all the uh, children in my life uh, for Christmas. 
along with awesome toys, of course. Um, but I like to read the books first because I choose them for the child and, and um, I wanna make sure that it's what I'm giving them and I wanna talk with them about it, right? So I've got a pile of, of kids' books that I need to read in the, in the next couple of days um, and wrap them up <laughs> and get them out. Uh, so it's okay. It's okay that we're in the middle of a pandemic. It's okay that I have stage four cancer because I have a nice warm house with an amazing wife and, uh, and Santa brought me a present that I'm very excited. I'm looking at it underneath the tree right now. Okay. I got an Oculus. For those of you that don't know what an Oculus is, it's, uh, it's the VR, um, virtual reality. You see people with the, like the white thing on, the, on their head. I'm so excited. We are just going to as much as possible uh, enjoy every minute of, of the next couple of weeks. And I'm gonna spend my time not thinking about cancer, but stories for story time. Hmm, yeah. My wife reminded me of a couple today that, that we need to share, which is, which is awesome. Mm. <laughs> All right. I'm, yeah. I'm so excited to be celebrating my third holiday. My third holiday. Since they, uh, they found this alien living inside of me first holiday. I had chemo just on Christmas Eve. So I don't really, I don't remember the holiday at all. That first one was <laughs> I did like I was six surgeries and 20 something rounds of chemo by the time the holiday came. And then last holiday was amazing. Last holiday, my friends and my uh, core group of, uh, of friends, um, they all quarantined with their kids even. Like, and, and then we spent like three days doing, uh, three days of, of just amazing hanging out and, and, and such. Um, and this year, okay, we, we don't get to be with friends, but we get to be with each other. And we've got each other. And that's, that's cool. All right, well, I'm gonna let you go. Cause I should probably uh, get some water and get myself uh, upstairs. It's the middle of the night. I will see you soon in story time. Okay, we'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out, I, I appreciate it.